business owners, I have a short message for you. I have sat myself down and I told myself, I said, damn me, please, you need to think well. <laughs> the way the country or the economy or the inflation is turning business owners round now, if you are not careful, if some people are not careful, you will go out of business. You all know it. I'm aware of it too. We are all aware of it. If you need to increase your price, please do. Don't be scared of those that you are selling to. They are also aware of it. They just want to finger your brain. If you are selling something for 2,500 or 3,000 era before, for instance, let's say 3,000 era, and the market price is 2.5, then you put profit of 500 naira on it. This time around, you need to think twice because if you, have, if you buy it for, let's say you are buying that particular thing for 2.5 and you just decide to put 500 naira in the name of, oh, I want to sell, uh, I want my home to go fast, fast, fast. I don't want to increase the price. You will be surprised that when you go back to the market, you are going to be buying that thing for 3000 not 2500 again. Meaning that you are running at lost. Are you getting me right? Because you pay transport fare. It, it usually sounds funny to some people when I say transport fare. Because the transport fare these days is alarming. If you are not careful, your profit is going to go with the transportation. Imagine you bought something for two five. You want to be a good business person in codes, and you decide to sell that particular thing for three thousand five hundred naira profit alone. That is what you are putting. Remember all the costs, the packaging costs, the your transportation. Yes, your stress. I have told you on this channel how you should price, how you should charge, especially if you are a small business owner. Charge everything chargeable. When you, after charging all the chargeables, yes, then add your profits. Because these days, if you are not careful, you will just realize that you are just rotating. You are just using the you are just rotating on one spot. As a matter of fact, you are even you are at lost because imagine you bought something of two five you sold it for three thousand era and when you are getting back to market to restock you are buying that same thing for three thousand era tell me all your packaging fee all your transportation fee all your stress and everything is gone please sit down and recalculate 500 era profit might not be too good for you don't be scared of people that hey, they will not patronize me people that will patronize you will patronize you those that will not patronize you will not patronize you you know i say the truth and i tell you the fact here people that will patronize you they will patronize you even if you are putting three thousand era profit on it those that will not patronize you will not even if it is just hundred era profit that you are putting on it and the fact that Yakudi that is beside my shop is selling a whole 500 naira. Hey, so that customers will be coming to, to my own shop. Let me reduce my own to 400 naira. See, business owners, may we not run at loss too. Let us be wise too. Let us be wise, please. Let us be wise. Hmm? Chicken, huh? that is what I am here to tell you in this video. Please hold it. Eh? Hold it, charge everything chargeable. You remember how much fuel cost to power your generator. You know that in your whole area, electricity is very bad. Eh? Most of the time you use generator. These are the things that you should put into consideration. Please, my brothers and my sisters, small business owners, big business owners, intending business owners, please let us be wise. God will help us. So may we not run at loss. So take care. Bye.